I could tell you exactly who I am I don't think that y'all would understand Got so many issues with the fam I don't think that y'all would understand Always trying to ruin every plan I don't think that y'all would I started the first studio that I really started with though was, was, was Twizzle when I was about, I want to say, 14, 15. I'm Antoine Dorm, aka Twizzle, owner of Sticker Move Boxing, but uh, before I did the boxing program, I was running Twizzle Productions. I was recording myself before that on like a little four track recorder, making my own beats on a little drum machine and the keyboard. And this all started from like, eighth grade when I was like 12, 13 is when I started making beats and started actually recording music seriously. But the first studio that really made me get focused and serious was, was Twizzle. So there was many people I feel as though they got their start. Um, first, let me talk about the people that helped me get started. D. Will, Native Son, um, Fiend. Actually, a lot of people don't know this. He actually sat down and showed me how to run the program. Fiend and Tim actually showed me how to work the program. A lot of people don't know that. Uh, so I actually returned a favor when it came to my man Sweet Pea. I sat down and showed him how to start the program. Not giving him credit for his talent and anything else. I think he surpassed me. Um, but it was just good to give back. And then he just ran with this program and started teaching me stuff how to, how, how to do things on there. Many artists started on, um, I want to say my man Crucial, probably one of my favorite albums that he did. MFG uh, really wasn't known like that. And then all of a sudden, blew up. Again, not taking credit, it was just the chemistry was there. Uh, and honestly, if it wasn't for Twizzle, I probably wouldn't even, I wouldn't even have the confidence to do what I do right now. Like, he really pushed me and all the other artists that he had around him at the time. Native Son, um, also a lot of their artists, such as Casso and things like that, they was doing it before. But our sound was just different because we had so many compilations and the difference that we had we had R&B singers on it, so now you can go get a kinder brother on the hook, you can get Grump, or even myself doing something silly or even singing a little bit or whatever. It was just different. I also met Murder and Caso there. These is guys that I look up to, like not only influences, but big brothers, like people that I would try to tell big homie, like, yo, like any opportunity there is, to go to shit, just let me know because I want to be around. I want to soak up as much game as possible. So when I first met Easy, um, I want to say members of the Dots brought him here. They was first bringing me these beats. These beats was just so different. It was on beat, but off beat, but it was just, just a different sound. And it's just like, these guys was doing it the justice. They, you know, they, they did it the justice, but then they finally bring this kid over. and. Uh, he was just different, you know what I mean? I, I don't know, I just never seen nothing like that. He was just different, he was hungry. And it was just like, he was just had fun with it. And that's, that's, that's what was unique about my projects. We had fun, it wasn't so serious, you know? And um, just his talent was just, it was, I was just speechless after hearing him. To me, they have some rapper, like, they'll just rhyme, like, you like, everyday rhyme stuff. Like, I listen to Brian, he get deep in his rhyme, like, he says stuff you don't hear every day, you know? Like real deep into his lyrics. Like he been thinking for months about it before he even write it. So yeah, that's a big difference to me. It just depends the vibe and it just depends on how I'm feeling that day. Like most of the time I don't physically write or put it down first, but I don't want to take that and use that as something as a skill because we all know that if I put pen to paper or write it down, it's gonna be just as hot. It's not even about, it's just my way of flowing. I feel like sometimes writing it on paper or putting it in my phone, it kind of slows me down. My motivation and where all my juices is flowing from sometimes works faster than I physically can write it down. And sometimes it goes faster than I can get it out so I just need to get it recorded most of the time and from there I'll drop four maybe eight bars at a time come up with some more in my head 
drop four or eight more bars until I'm finished a verse. And most of the time, I come up with a hook first. That's, that's really my process. The beat, the sicker the beat, the sicker the meat. That's what will I say? The sicker the beat, the sicker the meat. So, if the beat is dope, I'm only gonna give you 10 times that. Let's get back into the second verse. I'm now trying to get what? Skrilla. Uh, big buck, Skrilla. Uh, hustling, hustling, man, it gets much. Skrilla. I'm trying to relax in the villa. Lean back, knee stacks, wrist down, chill out. But I live the life of a killer. Hustler, struggler, smuggler, slash drug dealer. If you can relate, then bang out, boy. I'm a B O B chip. Bang out, boy. I'm on the grind all the time, trying to stack bread. Either head cracks and dice, so I gotta crack kids. Uh -huh. I serve rock for the crack kids. We for the hot heads. We got shots for you. Blue when I cock lids. Black or white, man. I ain't talking about pimples when I'm telling you I pop pigs. Every damn hustle, 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 hustle. You don't get it, Bobby. Every damn hustle, hustle, hustle. Getting red.